Hello and welcome to Colaholics Web Show interviews one on one with Captain Sid. It is I, your host, Captain Sid. Tonight I have another member from the site. You may may or may not know them. Hello, you. Hello. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Who you are? Where you're from? So on the site, I am Mistletane. I live up in Ithaca, New York, where I am attending Ithaca College. It's pretty far up. It's not that cold, though, because I've been used to living there my whole life. I mean, I lived in Elbridge, which is only about an hour north. Yes. So it's been pretty good. If you want some cold, you need to go to Afghanistan Mountains, man. It gets balls uh, cold there. In fact, the snow falls about up to one's waist. Anyway. I've had a few days like that. Outstanding. So, uh, tell me, um, how is your night tonight? My night is doing well. I had a few papers due, but the last one that I turned in was on Friday, so I'm mm -hmm. just waiting for the assignments to pile in again. Yes. That's how life is, yeah. Generally, yes. So, um, when did you get to the site? Um, I joined Kala. Um, a little over a year ago, I think it was, um, August 8th or something like that. Mm -hmm. I had, um, actually been uh, role-playing on the League of Legends forums, um, since May of that year, and I had been noodling around on the internet for some other things. Yeah. And, um, I was brought to Kahlo, um, because I had found an, a role-playing site for, um, the uh, Percy Jackson's Camp Half Blood thing, which led me to the uh, Demigods Cast theory roleplay. Mm -hmm. But, and that was what led me to Kahlo's site. But I actually got started, my, like, started uh, roleplaying mostly on the Pokemon Academy roleplay because I'm a huge Pokemon fan and the uh, Percy Jackson roleplay was kind of dead, to, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, it just kind of grew from there. I just started joining more and getting more involved with the community. And here I am now. I'm October's role player of the month, actually. Outstanding. Congrats. So, um, how was the community when you joined? Was it friendly, violent, sexually arousing, discriminating, drug addicted, what? Well, um, I had, like, looked up stuff about it on the internet, found a whole bunch of, like, messages that was, like, just spam and stuff like that. And I had sounded like it was just a whole bunch of people who got mad but no the community like on the site it was really friendly it was uh they were really welcoming and helped me out wherever i needed to i, I got used uh, to the community pretty quickly and became my friends with a lot of people outstanding nice. outstanding it's good to hear that you found a, a nice little niche here at home on the color world yeah that niche just kind of spread out though i'm in a lot of different players at this point yeah so uh, tell me, um, what was your uh, all-time favorite RP right now, and why? I think just because of the variety allowed, um, Fruitastics replay on um, server mm -hmm. is perhaps my favorite because it's an amalgamation universe where you can have pretty much any character from any video game there. Yeah. And. I, lo I love having a whole bunch of different characters there in the same universe. I mean, Fruit did a good job of, of with the plot for the role play. Yeah. It's something that, like, I think is important to keep it running. Because, like, if there's no, not really a plot to the role play, then it just might end up spacing out and, like, becoming inactive. But, no, this one's still going strong. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, I really like it. Is there any other particular role plays that catch your eye? Um, well, I'm a moderator of the, the Pokemon Academy, um, where Dreams began, the sequel one. We had a, it was like a spin-off idea that me, um, Fatal Error and Beautifully Catastrophic had. Mm -hmm. um, so that one's pretty, I, I like that one, even though it's kind of fallen into disrepair. But we have, um, we have a new plot event coming up, though, that should probably kick things back into gear. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping... If you, ever, work. if you ever decide that you need a really good villain, I would make one. I had a character from a Pokemon <laughs> RP that was just, this man spelled out evil. I mean, he just, there was all these innuendos that he might have been abusing his Pokemon even like in a sensual fashion. 
but they're like fiercely loyal to him for some reason. But he was... uh, yeah, um, actually, for he has uh, like the main villain. I mean, um, the plot for the roleplay is basically um, again with the Shadow of Pokemon. Mm-hmm. I it's just it's just really well, but we can always use more characters to be honest. Nah, I wouldn't mind. I'll have, to, I'll have to see about that. Um, so moving on, uh, what is your thoughts on Colaholics at this present time? What what do you think about the Colo world, as it were? Well, as a site, I think we're in a really good place. I mean, with the community and what, like the activity we have going on right now, I think we, we have a lot of uh, variety of role plays for people who are interested in it, whether it's like anime, fantasy, sci-fi, like original uh, role plays or nation builders or whatnot and like the off topic sections i mean it's a really great community and it's like a really great site it's um but it's not really like i mean there are issues with it but it's constantly changing so that's how is everything so i it's probably i like it right where it is right now so what is your biggest pet peeve with Colaholics right now? Um, I don't really have a big pet peeve with Colaholics. I'm just kind of worried about like the financial situation because it's not apparently, I mean, we, with all this like warnings and recently, if that's the only thing that I'm really worried about is like being able to keep the servers up. Yeah. But other than that, I've like the content with it. I'm perfectly happy with it. Okay. Um, if there's one thing you could do right now to impact Coholics, what would it be? I mean, if I could do it, I'd donate a thousand bucks, but unfortunately I'm a college student. I don't have a thousand bucks. Yes, you have your student loans. But I mean, besides financial uh, things, what would you do to improve Colo? Um, sheesh. I would say that, like, Coholics is, there's room for improvement, but I don't really see any major areas that we can improve in. I mean, perhaps, um, I don't know, like, getting the word out there that we are a really great role-playing site or something like that. Mm-hmm. I see. Uh, who's your favorite member? Favorite member? Oh. Ooh, dear. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. I don't know. There's a, there's a whole bunch of great people out there for a whole bunch of different reasons. But I I really like Saddle Knife Wielder. Mm-hmm. He's a really nice guy. He was the um like the one who introduced me to the community when I first joined. Yeah. And That's he's good. just really nice and friendly and helpful. Oh uh, yeah, I can see that. And not just with me, but with like everybody. Yeah, he's a pretty straightforward. Yeah, I like the cut of his jib. But uh, yeah. So uh, tell me, where do you see Colaholics going forward here into the future? I see us like already running into some logistical problems with um, server size and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But with growth of anything comes the cost of maintaining anything. But as long as like if we can keep track of that and like manage it, then it's gonna just gonna keep growing. I think. Okay. Okay. Anything you'd like to see happen in the future besides financial uh, stability? Well, in the future, we're always going to get new members, so we don't have to really do much about that. But I think that there is plenty of room for uh, things aside from role playing. I mean, we do have like the online mafia and stuff like that, but maybe a couple of more activities or something like that. Mm hmm. So, do you, do you actually? talk to a lot of the members oh um, yeah i'm on the chat box a lot how do you feel about um, the chat box if you don't mind me interjecting um chitango i don't really mind it um i mean it's a real issue for me on mobile because my phone sucks but i mean it having a chat having like an instant message chat box to, that's open to every member it lets you talk to a whole bunch of members like a lot without like having to actually post. I mean, you can just talk to people casually about anything. It's really mm-hmm. nice. Okay. Although the the secondary bar, the one that kind of looks like the Facebook thingy, I don't really know why that is there. I mean, the Chitango box is perfectly fine. 
I think it was meant to be like a on your hand private chat without having to go into chat tango and pull up another page. Oh, uh, okay. So I kind of, oh yeah, do that. Indeed. Um, so what's, what do you think Coloholics means? What does it mean to you? To me personally, um, when I open my internet browser, Coloholics is one of the pages that I have set as one of my home tabs. Mm-hmm. It's a place that I visit regularly, and I really love the community there. Yeah. And it really gives me something to do instead of like constantly, I don't know, role playing in general. It always sparks your mind and your creativity. Yeah. I think it's a really good thing to have, and it's actually helped me a lot with my papers, like writing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also write, um, I start writing stories on fanfic, so I think that also helps contribute to that. But I mean, in general, it's. It's really nice to be able to have like a bunch of online friends and um, mm -hmm. like see you. I see, I see. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Cola Hogs isn't just fun; it's educational. It, <laughs> it's educational. No, it's like a mostly. A, it's a, to me, it's mostly actually a part of my life. I mean, really, I'm here most of the time. I mean, almost every day. Would you say that you are a true cola holic then? I would. Besides being a member, apparently you are now addicted to Coloholics. So, not are we educational well, and fun, we're also a narcotic. Ha, yeah. Um, I get addicted to a bunch, of, a bunch of other things too, like video games in general, mm. Skittles, whatever. So, do yeah. you spend more time doing creative writing on the site, or do you do more role playing or chat tango or what? Um. Well, also on Skype, there, I have another chat group, which is the, basically the Jatango box, which is uh, for my League of Legends subgroup, because um, the forum there doesn't have a built-in chat box, because it's a forum thing. Uh, that's, the, that's the other role-playing site I go on, but that's like an actual official forum for the game. It's just a sub-forum. Okay. Nice. That's the other, that's the other um, role-playing I do on the side. I see. Do you have any pet projects at the moment besides Pokemon Academy? Um, yeah, I, I was just a co-mod of that, but I start, recently started my own role play, um, Monster Hunter Tales of the Tavern, mm -hmm. because I've been a huge Monster Hunter fan of the, the game series for a while, and I always I thought it would be really awesome to like have a role play for that. I mean, you can't uh, have a full traditional role play, but I'm for I mean, cause I'd like, I'd like um, members to role play with others, but to control the monsters, I'd have to do that myself. So it's kind of like a half traditional role play, even though TFT would say it's reform, which mm -hmm. it is. But I just love Monster Hunter, so it's something that I wanted to put up for a while, and I eventually did. I see, I see. Well, I wish you best of luck to running a role play. I know firsthand it can be a little tough on Colo because there's so much going on and so many different tastes and varied ideas and sometimes you end up running into some similar role plays where it's like well it's new and i'm pretty well set with this one and next thing you know it dies well yeah that's, that's the thing with role plays you have to make sure that they're running but um with monster hunter i already have like a, um, a whole plot point going out based on kind of like um the upcoming game monster hunter 4. so i i foresee a whole bunch of um content that i can add as well as the existing content that I already have. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly a matter of like actually having people in the role play. I think I have like seven or nine characters so far from other people. Outstanding. So as long as it keeps active, which I'm sure it will, because that's just the nature of the game of how it is, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty sure it can be pretty fun. Yeah, I can see that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have some sad news for this interview. We are into our final section, the hails and farewells. So, hey. this is your host. Oh, where, my manners. Do you have any shout outs? Shout outs? Yeah, we do shout outs traditionally on the web show where we give thanks or gratitude or words of endearment to other members on the site. Other members of the site, come and have an interview. Captain Sid is not that bad. He is actually very friendly. Come have 
interview so everyone can get to know you and so I can stalk your profiles and find you. You heard it from our stalker. I am not too bad in bed and I am not too unfriendly, says the man being pointed with a gun at his head. That's all the time we have, folks. Thank you and good night. <laughs>